Hi, I'm Diana DeRosa, and I'm speaking with Bud Force, who lives in Texas and was the co-director and cinematographer of the full-length documentary, Cowboys. So, wow, I, I have to tell you, I loved the cinematography. I, you did a fabulous job, especially that drone work, well done. But I, I wanna know why it, it couldn't have been an easy one to work with real cowboys. So why did you decide to do this? Well, I had never seen a documentary that I thought was fully authentic about the working American cowboy and also marketable to a widespread audience. Uh, shortly into the project, maybe four or five months, I met John Langmore, my co-director. He was the same way. Uh, he was coming from a photography background and had been documenting the cowboy. And, and he had the same thoughts about a film as I did as did our third partner, Faley Fonke, our creative producer. And so the three of us joined together and we thought, hey, let's, let's try to make a documentary that the cowboy in the bunkhouse can appreciate, but also somebody in Manhattan who may not have a, a real sense of where their beef comes from. They can also sit back and, and gain some insight into this culture. Great. You know, when you do any project and yours, especially I'm sure was a very long project, um, it's always so many things. There's good, there's bad, there's, you know, indifferent, but there's always some takeaways. So what are your takeaways? For me personally, and you're right, the project did take a long time. It took six years for us to make this film from start to finish. And my biggest takeaway was the relationships that were developed along the way, not just with our crew, but also the cowboys and the people that we encountered. You know, we filmed this project in 10 states on eight of the largest uh, cattle ranches in America. And we met hundreds of people along the way. And a lot of the folks that I met, and I know rest of the team met, we've become lifelong friends. And so that's, that's our biggest takeaway, or at least mine. Cool. You know, I, as I mentioned before, I really love the cinematography and the drone you know, photography. And I'm curious to know how that all, you know, happened. I mean, were you thinking ahead of things that you wanted to shoot? Were there any strange things that happened or difficulties in getting some of that done? Because, wow, you know, you were pretty high up there with the drone and there was some just beautiful regular photography and videography going on there. Well, appreciate it. And Yes, yeah, so we, we wanted to take a seasonal approach to show how these ranches work going from spring to the next spring. And you can't show up to these ranches as a big film crew and expect to really be able to drill into that authenticity. So we kept our crew extremely small. It was myself and another cinematographer shooting all of the video and my co-director, John Langmore, who shot the still photographs that are in the film. All of the gear we showed up with could fit into two backpacks, including the drones. And so we would show up to these ranches with a really small footprint and just operate as light and fast as possible while we were trying to capture the scenes. And my philosophy on, on documenting life as far as video goes is basically to be a fly on the wall and not be part of the show. And so that's one of the reasons why we like to use small cameras and remove some of those impediments between us and, you know, the folks that we're filming. Well, I think you were really successful because they really did share. And I know that's not always easy. So I want to thank you for chatting with me. Do you have any last words you'd like to say? You know, long live cowboys. Um, I hope folks who've enjoyed this film not only get to understand exactly what it is these folks do on a day-to-day -day basis, but also understand they're just real people like any of us uh, dealing with the same challenges and, and successes along the way too. I think it gave us all a good bird's eye view of what a cowboy's life is like. And I wanna thank you for giving us that opportunity to actually see that. So thank you again, Bud Force and your film Cowboys. Thank you, Diana, appreciate it.